Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons, and this is another video in the set of videos I'm doing that show you how to prepare or write notes for a boundary survey map. So, uh, in this video, we're going to uh, look at a example of how you can write the property corner notes. So, in the last video, we looked at an example of, of monument notes. So, I've got the uh, example survey pulled up here. It's a survey we did down at Gustine. And what we want to do now is go in and write a note for all of the um, property corners. Uh, property corners. Uh, so there either wasn't a monument in the record, or there was, and we didn't find we didn't find anything. So uh, we're going to start down here with 1534. And let me show you what we have there at 1534. So I'm going to just open up these maps so I can look at them with you guys. So that 1534, that corner, is this uh, found 4x4. Four four. Uh, that's all it says, 4x4. Four four. I'm, I'm assuming that's a wood post. This guy didn't do a great job on this survey. So there's a fence line here and this 4x4 four four post, assuming the wood post, and this is actually the quarter section line. I'm sorry, you can probably hear my wife singing in the background. If you've been on my YouTube channel very long, you know my wife likes to sing. All right, so <clears throat> that's this corner right here. Uh, we didn't find it. There's no 4x4 four four wood post there. There's no other kind of monument there. The fence is long gone. This is row crops right now, and this is a nut tree orchard, and there's just it's just really changed since that old survey was done. So we want to drop that note in. And I went ahead and typed these up so you guys wouldn't have to wait for me to type. So uh, we're going to drop in, whoop, wrong note. And I normally just work my way around the drawing and then we'll, we'll keep these organized in numerical order as we put them in. So we're going to follow that same pattern, right? We want to know what what did we look for in the, you know, what was there in the record that we were looking for? What did we find or not find? And then if we didn't find anything, how hard did we look? That's basically what, what we want to do. So. Uh, what was in the record? So I said I searched for a four by four inch uh, wood post shown at the end of the fence on that re on that record survey. Okay, I like to talk in the first person, just like in the monument notes, and this will get replaced with the R number, R two, R five, whatever reference number when we're done. Okay, then I say uh, what did I find? This is a property corner note, so I didn't find anything. No evidence of the fence or the wood post. How hard did I look? And I looked 50 feet in uh, in the vicinity of the corner, which I felt was at the intersection of the land side toe of the existing canal and the quarter section line. So made a thorough search, didn't find anything. All right, so let's uh, keep working our way around here. <clears throat> so then we've got this next corner here, 15 and 20. Now they were both set on the same map, and normally I would group those together, but I can't uh, because this one was at a fence corner. And this one was not, and so I want to distinguish that. So let's just grab those uh, two notes out of our file, and we'll drop those in. So we're going to follow the same pattern. What was I looking for? I was looking for a three-quarter inch iron pipe with this tag in a three-inch by three-inch redwood hub, as shown on this map. Didn't find any evidence of the pipe or the post. How hard did I look? Search radius was 20 feet. It was at the end of a chain link fence on the east boundary of the park occupying lot A on the subdivision map. This is the subdivision map. Now let me tell you what's a little bit different about these two corners. <clears throat> this is not the map that set the redwood post or the pipe, but it is the controlling subdivision map for my north adjoiner and the most recent map on this side of the property. So that's why I, I normally refer to the monument that set the map that set the monument I looked for, but in this case, I felt like this was a better way to go. All right, now, the next monument is very similar. Looking for the same thing off the same map. Didn't find it, but this one wasn't at the end of the fence, uh, but it was on, um, it wasn't at the east boundary of the park either. So we're going to say this was on the south boundary of the park, okay, and there was no fence corner. Okay. Okay. So there's those two corners, and again, if, if I could have grouped those together, except one was at a fence corner and one wasn't, and I thought that was important. 
So I separated them. Okay, then we have uh, these two monuments here, okay, which are actually set at the uh, edge of right away for the street that comes in here. So 40 and 41, and I was able to group those together because they didn't have any important differences. So let's go get those 40 and 41. Oh my word, that's singing. All right. So same pattern. What did I look for? I was looking for three quarter inch pipe. Tagged LS7788 as shown on the subdivision map. Didn't find any evidence of the pipe. And my search radius was 10 feet at the back of sidewalk on Via Palermo. That's the name of the road. Okay, so both those property corners have the same description. Okay, moving our way down the map, we come down to this corner, 1522. Okay, now that was actually set on a separate subdivision map. So there's two sub-maps, one here and one here, two phases. Okay, so uh, we want to make sure that we get the right reference in there. So what was I looking for? Uh, this is um, uh, that same iron pipe in a 3 inch by 3 inch wood, wood hub, right? He says he found it. This is actually a different map, though it was 39. But I didn't find evidence of the pipe or the post. In fact, uh, the corner is now in the road so the search radius was approximately 20 feet um, in the east side of Jensen Road right away and it was probably destroyed by road improvements so if you go back and look at that <clears throat> it's a little hard to tell here but they, they actually road right away for Jensen comes in they widen Jensen as part of this subdivision over here and this is laying in the pavement so it's it's probably gone all right, so then moving down, we get something a little bit different here. So these are a uh, couple deeded lots that came out of our parcel, and there's no monuments or record. Okay, so and I can group all these together because they all have the same basic description with no important differences. Okay, so what we're going to say is uh, no monuments or record at the corner. So you just want to say that. Uh, I searched for a monument anyways in the vicinity of the corner. Didn't find any. Okay, search area was 10 feet. And how did I know I was in the vicinity of the corner? Because I was at an existing chain link fence angle point or corner. Okay. All right, so didn't nothing a record, but we looked anyways. There was a fence there. Didn't find anything. Okay. So moving down, we have a, a, a somewhat similar situation. It's a little bit different. I have these three corners along the highway that are not monumented. And I didn't look for those. Uh, the reason I didn't look for those is there was no good physical occupation and uh, we weren't able to finish the survey because the developer backed out of the project midway. Um, if I had uh, taken this all the way through completion, I would have come back and, and looked for these corners with stick out. Uh, but we didn't get a chance to do that. So let's go ahead and drop that note in there. Uh, this is a really simple note. We are just going to say... that uh, there were no monuments of record. All right, so no monuments of record at the corner. Okay, so that takes us down to the canal here. Okay, now I didn't find any monuments along the canal. There were none of record and I didn't find any. And I looked for all the monuments on the back of lots of this subdivision, both these subdivisions. I looked for every single back of lot corner didn't find them. Uh, I didn't find any monuments on this line. Uh, I am assuming that uh, when they built the subdivision and put in the fences in the street in the park, that these mods got uh, either were never set or got graded out. Because um, I would have, I would have found some, at least one of them, I think, if they'd have been set. So I suspect that these monuments were not set. Okay. So uh, what I will do instead of numbering all of these angle points. And giving them a description, I will put in what's called a surveyor note. So I have a little symbol there that is used for a surveyor note. And I will put in a general note. And so I just want to show you what that would look like. So we'll have two of them here. We'll have one for this side of the canal, east side of the canal. And then we'll have a note here uh, for this north line at the back of these two subdivision maps. Okay, so let me show you what that would look like. So this is the note that I'll put on for the canal. It's just going to say there were no monuments record at the property corners along the west right-of-way line of the canal. Sorry, I said right-of-way twice. 
and I didn't search for monuments at any of these property corners. Okay, so we'll have a similar note that talks about the mods at the sub. All right, so that's how you write property corner notes at my shop. Um, it's pretty easy. They're actually the easiest of the four main types of notes that we talked about in our first video. Um, the next video, I'm going to show you an example of how we do um, a joiner notes, a joiner parcel notes, and then we'll do one more with an example of how you do the physical occupation notes. And we will use uh, this same survey for all the example videos. Um, and then we may do some more, vid some more videos on some other types of notes. So thanks for watching.